All right, so that's our understanding of the disinhibitory dimension of ADHD. That's what it really is, is a cross-modal pervasive problem with inhibition in the brain. From cognition to verbal to motor to affect to motivation, it's all there. Then this one develops within two to four years, which we prefer to call executive attention. I don't even like that term because this really is the metacognitive aspect of executive functioning, primarily working memory, which we will get to in a moment. But let's unpack this very briefly and we can see what's going on here. First of all, there's a special kind of attention that ADHD is disrupting. We know that there are at least five, probably six different networks in the brain related to different aspects of attention from arousal to alertness to focus to shift to divided to sustained. Those all have different networks that are regulating them. And ADHD does not disrupt all of them. So saying that people with ADHD are inattentive is not helpful because every psychiatric disorder and developmental disability interferes with attention. So that said, can we refine that attention deficit better to see what is specific to ADHD that will help me with differentiating it from an anxiety disorder or autism. The deficit here is in persistence to the future. Persistence over time toward a goal, either assigned by others or self-declared by you. It's a very special kind of attention that only humans possess. There might be rudimentary forms of this in primate relatives, though that's hard to discern. But humans posit a now versus a hypothetical later, and they organize behavior toward that hypothetical future, the goal, what they hope to attain. So there is a point A and a point B, and humans organize across time to get there, just like a GPS in a car. This is attention to the future, and that is what ADHD is destroying, is the inability to organize and sequence and monitor and evaluate chains of behavior that go from now to later. And that's task-oriented, goal-directed attention. I don't like the term attention. I think William James was correct. In his 1800 psychology textbook, he argued that this kind of attention is actually motor persistence. It's a motor aspect of attention, not a perceptual aspect. There is nothing wrong on the sensory side of the brain in ADHD. What is going wrong is the inability to organize motor action over time. So is that sustained? Yes but it's a sustained motor action, not a perceptual event. So let's understand that we're really talking about action plans and chains of activity strung together to accomplish what we set out to do. And that's what they can't do. They're attending to the now just fine. That's why you're angry with them. That's all they're attending to. And much of what goes on around you is goal irrelevant. And as a result, you're off task a lot. But you're off task because there was a task. And the things around you aren't related to that. And you can't stop attending to those things around you. So people with ADHD attend to the now too much. And they attend to the later much less. <laughs>